We're about to give our farewell salute to our good friend. 2009. Let's welcome him to the room. Come in. How you doing? You alright? Yeah? He doesn't talk much. No. Being a number and all that. I suppose you're a bit upset about leaving, but you're gonna have to go. I'm sorry. You were a, you were a nice guy and everything, just you weren't really offering much. Bit 2008 did it better. But can you just please go away? You're starting to make me feel sick by yeah, being you kind of You kind of smell of sick, so can you go? Get out. Get out! Oh, hi. You must be the groovy people of the internet. I've heard all about you. My name's Jack Howard. And my name's Dean Dobbs, apparently. Welcome to the second edition of something we like to call the good, the bad, and the just plain shit parts of 2000 and 9. Text is flying everywhere. Look. Text, ah! text, 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 text. <laughs> this is my bag of stuff. This year we've had Red Jumpsuit's new album, ACDC's new album, Al City's new album, Michael Bublé's new album, Green Day's new album. Did you hear that? <laughs> Alright, this year my favourite album has been Al City's album. Here it is on Dean's face. Nice. Uh, I'll move it out of the way for you. I liked it because it was a bit different, but kind of the same as their older stuff. And embarrassingly enough, I do like Al City. I'm a 13-year-old I'm a girl called Mitchell Davis. Oh. Becca, you just interrupted our video. How dare you. I'm shimmying in front of a pink backdrop. Okay, anyway. Can't <laughs> get any gayer than this. Okay, right. Uh, I'm going to go with the first thing that comes to my head, and it's Biffy Clyro. Uh, oh, great. There That's you go. Covered by Biffy Clyro's Only Revolutions album. Can you get it off my face? Oh, sorry. Thank you. It's Biffy Clyro. You can't really go wrong with Biffy Clyro. They're just good in the Scottish. And they got beards, so... And there's nothing more awesome than a beard. Yeah, it just makes music that much better, so... we picked the worst song so far, and it's kind of unfair because it's only just come out. Really, yeah. But... We don't care. We'll give you a clue to what the worst song is this year. It was our best album last year. We'll give you a moment to go back and check what that was. That's a good view. That's one view there. <laughs> we don't have a picture for it, so we'll let the text come out of the box. Okay, then. And that song is... I, I know a lot of you hardcore Yumi and Six fans are going, What? What? Uh, the only problem we have with it is because it sounds rushed in, it's only two and a half minutes long. It's just loud all the time, it doesn't build to anything, it's just, just yeah. like, like this. Guitar, <laughs> drums, guitar, bass, bass, jump bass. slap the bass. Okay, now we're going to move on to the film section of the year, in which we are going to tell you which films Bills. we enjoyed the most. Oh no, more text. It's been a pretty good year for films, we've had The Hangover, we've had District 9, we've had Star Trek, we've had Inglorious Bastards, Avatar, what else has there been? <laughs> Paranormal Activity! Oh yes, of course! Harry Potter! We've had the Omega Assignment! Yeah! Uh, Etc. Yeah! Etc. Yeah! This year I saw Inglorious Bastards and thought, oh, that was amazing. Then I saw District 9 and thought, oh, was that even better? And I started thinking, oh, I don't know which one I like more! But then I saw Avatar and thought, oh, you are an eyegasm. It was okay, but I wasn't someone to kind of just go like this. Oh, look at the pretty colours. It's amazing. I'm just forget about everything else that's wrong with this film. You know, narratively it's not compelling, but I don't even know if narratively is even a word. Do you know, it doesn't even matter, because it doesn't matter. Nothing, nothing is wrong with this film because of the pretty colours. Why haven't I got any 3D glasses? You're not missing out on anything, don't matter. This is the worst cinema ever. Right, my favourite film, it was Star Trek. I've got out of the way for this one. Yeah, I didn't know anything about Star Trek until I watched it. And the thing is, you don't need to anymore because no. they've changed it all. I must have watched it about 12 times now. I gotcha. Uh -huh. No, get off, Jack. Okay, this is going to be our worst film of 2009. Do you think it's safe to come out, Dean? Probably not. I know, we're going to get a lot of shit for this. Oh, dear. Let's go. Right, let's let's do just it. do it. Okay, here we go. Okay. We are armed. We are. And we're not afraid to use our weapons. Yeah, so get ready for this. The worst movie of 2009 is... is... New, New Moon. Moon. <laughs> <laughs> Stay back. Don't come near me. No, it's f***ing rubbish. It's an awful film. It's never going to be any good ever, ever, ever. F*** you, Robert Pattinson. What's the other girl? Uh, uh, Kristen Stewart. Yeah. F*** you, Kristen Stewart. F*** all of you. It's awful. End of the day. Dude, watch out! <laughs> oh, it feels really right. It should. We're not just going to say to you, we hate this film. It's oh no no no, don't do it, don't do that. <laughs> We're not just going to say to you, we hate this film. There's no redeemments for it. We know that some of you are thinking, oh no, it's a really really good film. Prove it. 
justify to us why it's good. Why do you like it other than mentioning somebody's hot, this person's in it, I just love Edward, I just love Edward, I just love Edward. Winnie the Pooh is the werewolf. That could have been the most redeeming feature of the film if they didn't look like teddy bears. They were like, oh yay, oh Jacob, oh, 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 he's killed a vampire, oh, still cute though. Dean. Yeah? Marry me. But this is your line. Come on. Oh, Kristen Stewart, you just can't act, can you? I know. I'm not making so much money.